I'm connected to the console port of a Cisco Catalyst 3550 switch and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to upgrade the iOS code on this switch and in order to do that I'm going to have to free up some space because the image I'm going to install on here is actually going to be a little over 9 megs in size and if I do a show flash you can see that currently I have about 8.3 megs available so I'm going to somehow have to get some additional space freed up and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to delete the current iOS version which is this old 12.1 code and replace it with some 12.2 code so in order to do that I would type delete and then I would specify flash and then the file name you can actually get away without putting flash in in this case because by default on the 3550 it's going to look to flash it's going to assume that's the storage that you're looking at because depending on the iOS version and or the platform this could change it's usually good to specify the full directory path so I cut and paste that in there hit enter it's going to say are you sure you sure I'm sure are you super duper sure yep I'm sure let's go ahead and delete this and then it gives us an error. It says error deleting flash and that gives me the iOS version and it says is a directory. If we look at our flash directory we can see that we have a normal Unix file structure and over here are our permissions and you can see like for the uh, config.txt we have read which is r, w which is write, then x which is execute. We have those permissions. If we look down here at our iOS version we have the same thing rwx, read, write, execute but we also have this D at the beginning here and the D is going to designate this as a directory and in order to delete a directory you have to delete all the files that are inside of it first so what we can do is we can go ahead and issue a CD for change directory and then go ahead and specify this directory just cut and paste is a whole lot easier than typing it out now if I do a show flash you'll see that the file structure is actually pointing to this directory and you could do the same thing with dir for directory same thing. So now instead of going to the top level flash, I'm going to the contents of this direct. So now from here, if I wanted to delete one of the files, let's say we want to get rid of HTML, you can see that when I hit delete, it's going to actually re going to refer to the directory that we've changed to. So if you had HTML under flash up here, it's not going to delete that file. It's going to delete the file that is in this directory. So I can hit enter, enter, and can't delete that one. Well, why is that? Because it's a directory within a directory. Let's see, we got a D right here. So you can see this could be an incredibly huge pain in the ass because now I have to change directory to HTML. Now if I do a show flash, you can see I'm a little further down the rabbit hole. And these guys, oh, shitload of files here, but look, there's another directory, so I'd have to go into there. So there's got to be an easier way to delete all this instead of going through all the directories, deleting each file individually, and thankfully there is. So then to get out of this, just hit the Q key for quit, and then to return to the flash, because if we do a show flash right now, it's going to have us pointed to that directory and then the subdirectory. So to get back to where we're just seeing the top level directory of flash, you can just type CD change directory and hit enter and now if I do a show flash it is at the top level of the flash drive. So to delete this directory we're going to go ahead and type it delete and we'll invoke the Cisco iOS help with the question mark and these first two right here are the guys we're going to use. So force is going to allow you to delete files without Cisco iOS saying are you sure you want to delete this file? Are you sure you want to delete this file? Are you sure you want to delete this file? Are you sure you want to delete this file? And then we're going to couple that with recursive. And recursive is actually going to be the command that goes through and deletes all the files, including the directories. So in this case, we're going to be able to delete the directories without having to go in and delete all the individual files first. And of course, we want to specify flash and then the directory that we're going to delete. And let's hope this works. This is delete the file. Do you want to delete this? Of course. And now you notice it didn't come back and say, are you sure? Are you positive? Normally, if you were doing this with a um, folder, you would have it come back and it would say, do you want to see the files in the, in this case, the HTML directory? And if you don't have that force on there, it'll keep prompting you for that. In this case, it didn't prompt us and it deleted everything. So now if we do a show flash, looky, looky. We don't have the directory anymore and we didn't have to go into this directory and then into HTML and we saw that there was actually directories within that directory as well 
and delete all the individual files. We were able to get rid of the whole directory on the flash root, if you will, top level. I don't know what the actual Unix nomenclature is for that. I'm sure I'm fucking it up, but oh well. Uh, we were able to get rid of this directory. So as you can see, using these two options with the delete command is actually pretty nifty. Can't believe I just said nifty. 23 skidoo! Whoopadoo! Uh, anywho, using this, these in combination actually gets you around the heartache that is deleting these uh, directories, especially a directory like this that has a bunch of subdirectories and individual files in it. So now we've got our space freed up and I can go ahead and throw on my new iOS version. And that's about it. Thanks again for joining me in the Packet Lab and I hope this helps you on your route to network greatness. Bye.